Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today I will be presenting about my final year project, which is uh, investigate the capability of acoustic properties prediction uh, using iSimpa and its performance. So my name is Muhammad Asanuddin bin Fazil, and my metric number is DD180061. So I was supervised by Professor Madia TS Dr. Musinizam bin Yahya. So firstly, I will talk about the problem statement for this project. So in acoustician engineering, uh, it is difficult uh, that to design an interior of a building that fulfill the acoustic design criteria. So in order to tackle this problem, a calculation and simulation method was used. So simulation method is the most preferable method because it gets the job done and it is easier to use and it also saves the cost. So uh, the reverberation time results for iSimpa will be compared with the Audien and according to Passero and Zenin in 2010, Audien provides an accurate computational uh, simulation on predicting reverberation time. Thus, it can be used as a reference uh, software. Next, I will talk about uh, my objectives and the scope for the study. So the objectives of this study is to determine reverberation time by using iSimpa and to compare the results between two different software. So the scopes of the study is the, the simulation will be done by using iSimpa and the closed space model will be drawn or designed by using SketchUp software. And finally, the comparison of the results will be done between uh, iSimpa and also Audien. Next, I will move on to the methodology. Uh, so this is the room design. So actually, there are five different room design. And it is actually a virtual room. So none of the room is exist. And also, uh, there's a slight flaw from the previous design where the windows are not the, at the same level. And also, the distance between the windows are not the same. So I have to repair the design in order to create a perfect model for the simulation. So this is the parameters uh, to run the simulation. So since iSimpa does not have any classification of material, so I need to use the absorption coefficient uh, from the material for each frequency uh, from range uh, 125 Hz to 4000 Hz. So smooth brickwork uh, is used for uh, the wall panel, uh, floor and also the ceiling. Meanwhile, for ordinary glass, uh, I will use it for the windows. Next is the coordinates of the sound source and the sound receiver, also the plane receiver. So the sound source and sound receiver were placed randomly inside the room. And actually, there were different uh, coordinates. Meanwhile, for plane receivers, uh, the coordinate is the same for each and every room. And next is the parameters for uh, interior wall simulation. So a 1.5 meter height interior wall uh, will build uh, inside every room. And the classification of material use uh, was plywood. So this is the uh, absorption coefficient for the plywood. And there's a slight change on sound source where the height of the sound source will be different from the first simulation where instead of one meter uh, i use uh, two meters and the rest for the sound receivers coordinate and plane receiver coordinate is the same as the first simulation next is the parameters for simulation with a multiple receiver so the purpose of a multiple receiver simulation is to observe whether iSimpa can predict uh, reverberation time uh, at a specific location in the room. So the simulation was done in the first room. So there are four different receivers with four different coordinates. And yes, the coordinates were placed randomly inside the room. And finally, the parameters for comparison between Audien and iSimpa. So the analysis was done at 500 Hz frequency. 
and there were four material used which is smooth brickwork brick uh, wood fiber board and also mineral wool but as i said earlier i will only use the absorption coefficient for these uh, materials uh, at 500 hertz frequency next i will talk about the results and discussions that i obtained from this project so this is the simulation results for reverberation time by using iSIMPA so actually the reverberation time uh, obtained uh, from 500 hertz to 4000 hertz since iSIMPA use 1 over 3 1 over third of octave uh, in the software but for this presentation i will only uh, present it uh, the reverberation time at 125 hertz to 4000 hertz so from the data uh, i can see that uh, airing predicted uh, 0 0.05 seconds uh, uh, shorter than sabin and this is the graph plotted from the previous data so as uh, as we can see from for the first second and third room uh, had the same graph trend where it will increase from 125 hertz to 250 hertz and it will start decreasing until 4000 hertz meanwhile for the fourth and fifth room uh, the graph trend will fluctuate for both uh, sabin and adding and this is the sound distribution for every room with a sound power of 100 decibel and background noise uh, around 35 decibel it will produce the highest possible is uh, 85 uh, decibels and the lowest uh, sound pressure level produced was 60 decibel so there's a slight problem for the third room where uh, a proper sound distribution was not produced this is because the sound source of the room is located too close to the wall panel uh, as a consequence uh, the software estimates that the sound source actually is inside the wall panel so i had to change the coordinate from 161 to 151 in order to produce a proper sound distribution so this is the new sound distribution for the third room however uh, there is a blank spot which is there is no reading uh, at the receiver one so when I click at the receiver one there is no direct uh, sound pressure level which it shows an error however for the Sabin's and airing sound pressure level there were uh, reading maybe uh, this software um, calculates the sound pressure level by using theoretical calculation for Sabin and Ering and this is the simulation results for the multiple receivers so earlier I said that uh, the simulation were done to know whether iSIMPA can predict a reverberation time at a specific location or not so uh, this is the data uh, when when I click at the each of the receiver it only gives me it only gave me the direct uh, sound pressure level and it does not give me uh, the reverberation time results uh, it will give a reverberation time results for the whole room that means uh, the results for this multiple receiver is actually the same results as the first simulation next is the uh, reverberation time results with uh, an interior wall so uh, for the first second and third room uh, the reverberation time for sabin and airings has a shorter reverberation time compared to the first uh, simulation meanwhile for the fourth and fifth room uh, it had a, it has a longer reverberation time compared to the first simulation and this is the graph uh, plotted for the reverberation time result with interior wall so there's a huge difference in this simulation where obviously from the fourth room and the fifth room the graph is actually uh, different from the first simulation so all of the graph plotted 
had the same trend where it will increase from 135Hz to 250Hz and it will drop and the reverberation time will become shorter uh, until 4000Hz. Finally, this is the comparison of reverberation time uh, between iSimpa and Audion. So this is the graph that represented the best fit for all of the rooms. And this is the representative, uh, which is the fourth room and the fifth room graph, where it, it represents that it does not has a best fit uh, between the two graphs. So uh, the percentage difference were calculated between the software. For the first, second and third room, uh, they produce a small percentage difference among all of the five rooms. However, for the fourth room, it recorded uh, six trials out of 20 trials that exceed 50% of percentage difference and the highest ever recorded is 120%. For the fifth room, uh, it recorded around nine trials uh, out of 20 trials that exceed 50% of percentage difference and the highest ever recorded is 100%. So I'll move on to the discussions. Uh, so iSimpa does not have its own library for material classification. As a replacement, uh, an absorption coefficient of material is needed and you need to obtain it from the outer source such as uh, journals, books or catalogs. And the sound source and plane receiver should not be at the same height. Uh, as a consequence, uh, there will be no sound distribution produced. So if you want to do a simulation that related to sound distribution uh, simulation, uh, the sound source and the plane receiver height should be different, where the sound source should be higher than the plane receiver. Next is iSimpa does not produce a reverberation time reading at a specific location. Instead, it will provide sound pressure level for each receiver. And finally, uh, iSimpa uh, is not suitable for a huge scale of simulation. Uh, this is because it will uh, create a longer time of calculation and it will become slow. So it will not suitable such as, uh, so it will not suitable for any uh, a lot of uh, data analysis such as uh, the neural network analysis. Finally, I will talk about the conclusion and recommendation for this study. So, iSimpa did predict the reverberation time, uh, but it will produce the reverberation time for the whole room, and it cannot uh, predict reverberation time at a specific location in a room. And from the percentage difference uh, between iSimpa and Audion, it shows that iSimpa does not has a problem in simulating reverberation time for the first three rooms. However, in the fourth and fifth room, there were a total of six and nine trials out of 20 trials that exceed 50% of percentage difference. Nevertheless, iSimpa can be used as a platform for beginners uh, that want to learn about acoustic property simulation, such as reverberation time and sound pressure level. And for the recommendation for this study, I suggest that uh, to compare I suggest that in the future, the comparison between the comparison reverberation time results uh, will be done with uh, another method or a different acoustic simulation software such as the finite element method or a ray noise software. And finally, to compare the reverberation time results with another theoretical formula or statistical method such as the Millington, Kramer, uh, Kutruff, Fitzroy and Arapuchets. So that's all from me. Thank you.